Hello there, my name is Chris Love of the Information Lab and I'm back with another good to great post for Tableau. So, what am I going to go through this time? Well, I thought I'd share with you a question I had this week. Um, it was around to how to create a chart that looked rather like this. It shows the running sum of sales over a given quarter, but in relation to the start of that quarter, so that all lines are processed on the same chart. I think this is a really nice way of, of looking at the data. It enables you to quickly see which quarters within a given year using the drop down have been most successful. So you can see quarter three just here is clearly started out the most successful. Initially quarter two was doing very well but very quickly dropped off. Here Quarter three was very much in advance of quarter two. Sorry, quarter one was very much in advance of uh, quarter two in 2013, but tailed off the sales here were rising much better. How do we build this? Let's talk through the steps. The first step in building out a chart like this is to determine our, what determines our level of detail. Our level of detail in this case is going to be determined by the order date, and I'm going to drill that down to quarter. That's going to give me one line per quarter per year. That seems like a good starting point. I'm also going to drag on the sum of sales so that we get that on the rows of our chart. So now I'd like to build a calculation that looks across the days of the quarter. Now, the days of the quarter are going to be determined by an index function in this case. The index function is a table calculation. And the way I use a table calculation is by computing over a field in the view. So I'm going to have to add the order date. So I'm holding down right click and dragging my order date on here and adding that into my view, and I'm going to add the day of the order date. You can see that's broken down all my sales just here into the day of the order date. So now when I add my index, which is just index, open bracket, close bracket, and I'm using the new functionality in nine, just to double click on this column headers. Initially, it's gonna compute across the row, so I'm not going to get any data added. What I'd now like to do is get this to compute over the day. I'm going to address over the day, but leave my partitioning by year and quarter so that I get a different line per year and quarter. So day addressing a different line per quarter and year. Now when I apply this and change the chart type to line, I might want to add path today so that that works. We can now get a bit of a mess, to be honest. The last step is to do the same for our running total. So I'm going to sum sales across running total, edit the table calculation, and make sure we're computing the running total across the days per quarter and per year. As you can see, I've got the chart type. I now need to tidy that up. So I'm going to add color to my quarter and year using the little drop downs to the left of the pills on my marks card. Secondly, I'm going to hold down control and drag my year and quarter to my label. That gives us exactly what we need. You may prefer the colors rather than darker colors within each section to be quarters, you could move them and pick up quarter and drag it to the top. That's gonna to mean all colors are the same color, or all quarters are different across within the year, but for any given quarter, it's the same color across years with a slight darker color representing the earlier years, as you can see down here. Lastly, if we want to add a year filter, I'm going to hold down control on my year of order date, drag it to filters, select years, 
and just turn that into a quick filter. Perhaps changing it to a drop down. Perfect. One last cleanup item I've just done is to drag my index down here and call it day in quarter and that will just tidy up this bottom axis down here where it currently says index. It's now going to say day in quarter. Looks very good. Does what we need and it's a useful chart to compare sales across quarter. Thanks for listening. I hope that was useful. I'll check in next time with another good to great tip.